If you're wondering if Zero's core can do hard surface sculpting, the answer is yes, if the design isn't too complicated. My name is Dries and today we're making a hard surface model using the only Zero's core. And since E3 was upon us, we're going to make Mario's gun from Mario and Rabbids. For this project, we'll be using a few techniques over and over again that I'm going to break down now in real time before we go over a sped up demo. The whole concept for this demo is using Dynamesh and the power of booleans that come with it. So the first step is to turn on Dynamesh at a pretty high resolution so we have enough geometry to work with. And since we're doing hard surface, we'll turn polish on. Press Ctrl Shift to turn on your select tool and set it to curves. Now you can select the sharp cuts you want to make. Once you make your selection, Ctrl Shift click on it to invert your selection. Now go under the Geometry tab, then Modify Topology and click on Delete Hidden. Simply Ctrl drag outside of your model to dynamish it again and close the holes. This is a great technique for making straight cuts. Press Ctrl to access the masking tool and set it to curves. Now by pressing Ctrl you can draw a straight line or a curve by anchoring it using Alt. Press Alt once to make a curve and press Alt twice to make a sharp angle. Once you've done your mask, go under your subtool palette and split and pick the split mask box. Delete the resulting new subtool and redynamesh your model to close the hole. Sharp angles don't always work, so it's best to use this for curves. This is the bulk of what we'll be doing later. Append a basic primitive that suits your needs for the shape you want to make. Then using the 3D gizmo and the transpose tools, move it into position. Select the second boolean option in the subtool. Make sure you're just below the model you want to cut. Now pick the model you want to cut. Select merge down, redynamesh and boom, you're done. This produces the cleanest cuts. Now let's get started on the model. Um, I've started by making a quick mock-up in Photoshop that I imported into uh, ZBrush Core and I'm using it as a reference. Uh, I started using a, a few primitives to get basic shapes into position. A sphere for the uh, nozzle and uh, another bigger sphere for the outer shell that I am uh, using the 3D gizmo blending into position and now I appended a box that I subtracted from the end of the main cylinder and now I'm using a, a cylinder that I appended that I deformed into position and subtracted from the shell again. That's mainly what we'll be doing uh, during this entire demo is just appending primitives, deforming them into the uh, cut we want to make and then subtract from the uh, main parts. Now another cylinder. Now to make the curve I'm going to use the um, masking tool. I'm going to mask it off, turn symmetry on the y-axis to mask the upper part. Split, delete, redynamesh. I've redone the nozzle for some reason. I can't remember why. Anyways, append to cut the front part of the nozzle. Made it slightly longer to fit inside the model. Made another cylinder for the uh, main interior part. Made it longer than I needed since I uh, subdivided it. 
to um, to have some room to uh, remove and have a clean cut and a clean edge. Another cylinder for the middle part. Duplicate it, scaled it a little bit bigger to subtract it from the main outer shell. So now we have a, a circular cut that is uh, aligned to the uh, cylinder in the middle of the gun. Made a cut for the uh, inner part of the uh, the shell. Subtracted the inside using a cylinder. Now I'm making a cylinder, deforming it to hollow out the nozzle. Like so. Subdivided. And then using the hard polish tool and the radial symmetry made a, a bevel. Then I'm going to append, uh, append a block on the uh, on the top of the uh, on the top of the uh, nozzle to make a, to the bevel to make a clean cut. So it's not nice and sharp. Appended a spear for the uh, glowy bit on the outer part of the cylinder. There's another rectangular piece there. Now I'm hollowing out the uh, outer shell a bit more to have some room for the uh, hilt. Making up a hilt, trying trying something different. Made a cylinder, made a, a box, and then appended another box to uh, hollow it out and make a U shape. And then I appended uh, a few boxes on the side to make. Um, make a cut and now I've appended uh, a ring shape that I'm going to duplicate by using control and dragging and scale it into position and then using the uh, move tool I'm going to mask and drag and move it a bit more into position give it some shape bend it then I'm moving the uh, inner part of the hilt to match what I've done made a few new cuts using mirror and well to duplicate the cuts I want to make Mirror and well to duplicate on top and bottom. Now I had a wanted to add more definition, more details on the inside, so I made another cylinder. And I duplicated again. Aligned it to the middle, subtracted, just to give some uh, visual interest, since the design is already pretty basic. I wanted to add more detail on the um, the nub on the sides, so I tried using insert the insert mesh tool, and I added a few boxes. It was looking pretty good, but it was it wasn't there was nothing near this 
level of detail on the uh, the uh, actual gun. But there was a little big a little bevel there, so I masked and inflated the uh, outer shell to add the uh, outer bevel. Cleaning up the mesh using hard polish. And this on the uh, reference, I, uh, the picture of uh, Miyamoto holding the gun, you could see that the uh, upper lip of the shell was a bit longer. I moved it to make it a bit longer. Polish to clean the shape. Redyna mesh. Masking to add the, uh, the the bullet shape details, the eyes and the mouth. Inflated in, redyna meshed, and cleaned up the result a bit. Add more details in the face. to add the teeth in tried inflating but it didn't give a very nice result so use the clay build up to Shape the teeth in and clean it up with the hard polish. The uh, teeth were getting a bit out of control, so I moved them back into position. And with the Damon Standard Brush, I uh, cleaned the, the uh, cut of the mouth. Used a pinch to finish cleaning that up. To add more depth to the eyes using the pretty gizmo. Some part of the uh, shell were a bit too thin, so I made another cut to clean up the, uh, the outer shell in case I ever want to 3D print it. Because you don't want to have too thin geometry when you 3D print. To form the uh, cylinder to have the shape of the cut I want to make. Dynamesh, clean the result.
try to see if I can make a, a bevel using a ring tool and didn't give a the result I wanted. It wasn't long to try. Moved on to polypainting. Pick the color, fill the object. edges I forgot a part that I didn't see at first on the uh, the model a big button on top and a ring and a sphere to make the button hard polish and radial tool to make a bevel and mask and move it down dynamesh and we're done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe and comment. It helps. If you want to see more, if you want to see something specific, just ask in the comments. I'll see you guys later.